One of our early chemistry labs has to do with physical properties. You'll need to use the physical properties of sand, iron, and salt to separate them. Right now they're separated, but if I take the salt, put it in with the sand, and then take some iron, put it with that, could you separate this mixture? So by the end of this lab, you have sand, salt, and iron. You have three separate containers. The properties we're going to use to separate the iron from the sand and salt, what's the property of iron? Magnetism. If we take the magnet and stick it down in with the sand, salt, and iron, you'll see that we can remove the iron. So with careful practice, we can pull all the iron out of the sand, salt, and iron mixture. Another property we know salt has, the salt will dissolve in water. If we have a funnel with sand and salt in it, we can get the salt to pass through the funnel and the filter just by making it wet. If we take a little bit of water, pour it on the salt, it will dissolve and drip out the bottom. What's coming out the bottom here? salt water. And in the end, to get the salt back into a solid, we'll take our torch, light it, heat up the water until the water evaporates. Then you'll have sand, salt, and iron. 